Good morning, welcome back to another video. I meant to wake up a lot earlier today, so I was a little disappointed in myself, but honestly, life gets in the way sometimes, and that's what I wanna talk about in this video. I usually hate the term get back on track because it implies that we were bad for falling out of routine when it's so natural for life to get in the way and things to change. But I also get it. I sometimes like having a bit of a reset and kickstarting a routine again, especially if I've been traveling or really busy. So let's take a completely different approach to this idea of getting back on track and maybe we can call it reset and resume. After I've showered, it's time to moisturize and get a natural glow from my current favorite skincare brand, Oak Essentials. I'm using their Moisture Rich Balm, which is nutrient rich and supports collagen production, which delivers serious hydration for a luminous glow. Me and my friends swear by this, the texture is so smooth and even a small amount on your face just makes you feel so refreshed. Their products are perfect for a summer glow and me and my friends swear by their products because they actually work, especially if you're trying to achieve that natural, no makeup look. I'm also using their Dew body oil that absorbs instantly and improves tone and skin texture. This body oil also smells so good and can replace your perfume naturally. Here I am just putting it on everywhere so I can get moisture for the whole day. As a true fan, I would like to thank Oak Essentials for sponsoring this video. You can treat yourself or someone else with 15% off your first order using this code. That's 15% off plus a gift with your first order at O-A-K-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S dot com slash Morgan15. Today, I am going to a yoga sculpt class, but I am gonna be trying to use heavier weights because I found that the easiest way to maintain my muscle is with hypotrophy because even heavy lifting two or three times a week really makes a difference. Also, you're gonna see in this video, there is a bit of a theme. Accidentally, I decided to wear everything pink. Also, something I would have done differently if I actually wanted to get out of the door earlier is lay out my clothes the night before. But honestly, oh well, better luck tomorrow. So things don't always go as planned. I was originally gonna be going to like a 6 a.m. workout this morning, but I woke up a little later. I feel like I've been taking it slow taking my time. Why do I always like gesture with my hands? But I want it to be like realistic. And honestly, this is what happens sometimes and it's okay. You can tell yourself, oh, I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. But then you just end up waking up feeling groggy and you're like, no, I need a few hours to myself. And that's exactly what happened to me this morning. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna hate myself for it. I'm not gonna beat myself up. I do wanna go do a workout this morning, but I missed the 6 a.m. class. And so now the only other class is at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna have to just wait. But at the same time, I'm like, this is exactly what I wanted to just like take it easy. <laughs> I think in this video I'll also point out where I went wrong or like what I could have done better if I wanted to actually have a 5 a.m. morning routine because I have done like 5 a.m. mornings in the past like I used to be so on it and I guess this just goes to show like life fluctuates and that's perfectly okay. I'm gonna quickly make myself a little breakfast that is realistic but also still healthy because I used to think you can't have added sugars if you wanted to be healthy but that is total BS. Everything fits in a balanced diet, and truly, I've become my healthiest once I stopped demonizing food. I was craving peanut butter and honey, so I made myself a toast on this like really nice, was it brioche or like honey bread from Trader Joe's? It was so good. I also added some berries and bananas, and it's honestly so good to have a very carby breakfast before an intense workout, and I just knew I was going to be sweating my butt off in that yoga class. But I took my time to journal, edit for a little bit, and just enjoy the morning, really slowly wake up. I had a lot of time to spare this morning, so I got changed so that I could take myself on a quick walk. Honestly, even if you were feeling lazy like I was, getting changed and taking yourself on a quick walk is a great way to get morning movement. Okay, now I'm on my way to hot yoga and I was gonna walk, but as I mentioned, I'm feeling so lazy today. So I'm driving. <laughs> A 
A big tip for resetting and resuming is writing down all the tasks you need to accomplish and categorizing them using the Eisenhower matrix. Then I like to attach a time limit for each one and add in some breaks so that I don't burn out. I'll give you examples of exactly what I mean by that, but first, I'm clearly doing a quick workout. I went to Core Power Hot Yoga Sculpt and the workout killed me. I was so exhausted at the end. So what I meant by setting a time limit on something is, for example, whenever I need to fold my laundry, I'll put a 10 minute timer just to help me realize it actually doesn't take that long to just get it done. Usually I end up finishing before the timer even goes off, but the purpose of putting a timer is, let's say the 10 minutes goes by, you can take a break and come back to it later and then set another timer if you go past the allotted time but I think it really offers some perspective. And if you've watched episode one of this series, you would know that one of my non-negotiables is keeping my space tidy. So this really helps with that. Now let's make a really easy and healthy lunch inspired by my recent trip to Greece. I'm making a Greek salad and I would have added avocado and feta, but I forgot to get some. So it looks really boring, but honestly it hit the spot. I just needed something fresh. So I'm going now to go get a drink and do some more work because I feel like sometimes just having a little bit of wine helps me be more creative. And now that my job is like full-time YouTube, I need a little bit of like creative juice if you know what I mean. <laughs> This is what I was wearing. Both of these items are from White Fox and I'm obsessed with this top. It's just so flattering on me, but I showed up to the winery, took my stuff out and got ready to do some editing. I got myself a glass of their GSM is what they call it. And it's like a really nice red wine. And I enjoyed this while doing some more work. So had to include it because it is technically what I ate in the day. <laughs> So when I came home, I made myself a very easy dinner. I know usually dinner is hot food, but I was craving this tuna salad wrap. So I added avocado, some spinach, and it was so simple, but so good. I also added some more smashed avocado and some crackers to eat with it on the side. This was a super short video, but if you got to this point, comment down below what time you like to wake up in the mornings. I hope you stay for the rest of the series. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.